No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. This is pretty epic. We got the first interview home with the one and only Chito Ranas. How you doing, man? Doing good. How you feeling? How long? How long you actually been home at this point? Been home since Sunday. Since Sunday, and yeah. right now, well, I guess we'll, we'll stay mysterious about what day it is. But uh, how you feeling? Great. You were down for about a year. Not nah, eight months. Eight months. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what's it like coming home. You've had to experience this a few different times of of coming home. It's like a blessing, you know. Like, like God gave me another chance. Stop feel me. And it's like I'm just trying to make this count this time. You know? For sure. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. You're from Sacramento. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what growing up was like. I mean, normal. Like chilling with, chilling with the homies and shit, you know, like stealing bikes as kids and shit. You stole bikes. Yeah. I rode bikes, so you were kind of like my arch nemesis. I mean, I got my bike took two hell of times when I was a kid while fucking crackhead and shit, you know. Really? Yeah. So you had a pretty pretty normal upbringing, all things considered. I mean, yeah. Was it like actually super mega hood, and you're just kind of downplaying it because it nah, feels nah, normal it to you? Nah, it was cool, bro. It was cool. I grew up cool, bro. Like. Great parents, you feel me? Like, I was just a dumbass, you feel me? Like, I never listened to my mama, you know? Mm. And I just gave her a lot of headaches and shit, you know? Like, like I put her through a lot of shit. So you're old enough now that you can see that I mean, younger version yeah, of yourself and be real do, about it. I do and shit. Like, I'm not going to lie. I see it because when I was locked up for it, I was just like, I was just looking at myself like, damn, like, what am I doing, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like everybody in, in county for like they would tell me like, damn, bro, like you got talent, man. What you doing in here? And shit? Like, I don't know. Because you're surrounded know. by guys in there who got no opportunities or pretty bro, basic I'm surrounded opportunities. By lifers and shit like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, damn. And when you see the world through their point of view, the opportunities that you have on the table are pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Because I got a shot that nobody do, you know? Right. Like, I don't know, bro. This is the support system I got right now. It just helped a lot, a lot. You feel me? Like, it's making me, like, push harder and shit, go further. You know, like, like last term, I didn't write shit, bro. I was just getting high and fucking up, you know? Like, whatever. Last time you were in jail. Yeah, I was going through some shit, you know? But this time I came home and I was like, you know what? I'm a program, bro. And that's like, I was working out. I was eating a lot, bro. I gave my weight back, you know, like, I came home heavy, bro. I'm like, yeah, I feel happy, too, bro. I'm like, okay, like, like, man, life is beautiful, bro, you know? Because the interview I watched with you from, like, a year ago with Rose Kranz Vic, you were boy, you were man. hella skinny in that one. I mean, yeah, like I said, bro, go through the depression, bro. Like, lose somebody you're close to and see what's up, you know? Like, mm. that's going to f*** you up, you know? But I was cool. I mean, I, I beat it, you feel me? Like, like, even though I lost everything, I gained a lot more. Mm. A lot more. I bought my first house, you know. Like, I got a fly whip out the first day out. Fly whip out the dealer, you know. Like, like I'm doing shit that I never thought I could do, like, two years ago. Mm. You know? Now, I'm like, fuck, I ain't got to worry about shit, bro. I didn't even want to come to the interview, bro. I wanted to chill at the house, bro. You know, like, <laughs> like I, tell, I told him, like, what's the point of having this big-ass house if I can't even be in it, bro? You oh, know? Okay, but wait, are you... Motivated to be in the crib, or do you want to be outside doing shit? Or are you perfectly happy to just be low key? I'm happy being low key now. Right. You know, back then, I was with everywhere slash. You like, man, I ain't even going in the car with you, bro. And I'm like, what the? Fuck? Really? Yeah. Why it was hot like that? <laughs> what, Junior? What'd you say earlier, bro? Like, ooh, estaba loqueando, huh? So you public enemy number one? Not really, bro. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Like, just get to know me, bro. Like, I'm fly, bro. Like, I'm chilling. You know? Right. But, I mean, do you consider yourself, like, super controversial? It, or are you talking about more on, like, a street level versus, like, a rapper level? I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of people who don't like you yeah, on that, a street level more well, yeah, so? Because like I don't both, see you that way as both, a musician, right? Both. Okay, like, look, music-wise, music some of them don't like my music. Yeah, I don't like my old shit at all, bro. Like, you know? But, you know, a lot of people love my shit. Everybody love my shit. So why do they? Like everybody be like, you know what I'm talking about? Why do they not like it? Because it doesn't sound Mexican enough. 
Nah, I don't know, bro. Cause everybody say cause I sang and all that type of shit. Do bro. people? Do you, are you still pushing the Spanish in the yeah, I still like talk Spanish mixing shit. all I still that? Talk okay. my shit, bro. Like you see, I'm fly with my shit. Like I talk it. Cause you you, know? t- you tell me like I got I got the idea from like listening to people talk about you and listening to your older stuff that yeah. the major like innovation you had when you came out is that you were kind of rapping like a real rapper, but then you were also just mixing the Spanish in yeah, with it. Like, and I not wanna, giving a like, like man, look look what I could do. Right. You can't do it. Look what I could do. Mother- they can't even speak Spanish, bro. You know? Mm-hmm. Like look look at me, bro. You feel me? Like like I could talk it perfect, bro. Perfect. You know. And what I could I, like this, you feel me? What, like, what I heard Vic say that kind of like he knows better than me, but he said that like you sound totally normal at speaking English and you you sound totally natural it's, it's with the Spanish language. too, right? You gotta understand that's my first language, man. Like there was a rule at that house when I was growing up. My mama said you can't speak no English. No, my daddy said you can't speak no English in the crib. Really? Yeah. I'm like, damn. You know, and then the times that I went to Mexico when I was like eight, they're like, no talking no English over here. Mm. So I'm like, damn, bro. Sometimes I wanted to I wanted to like show out to the little Mexicans, <laughs> Mexican kids over there like, talking a little fly English, and then they're like, "What'd you say?" That's I'm some like, flash. <laughs> just being able to have some some yeah, English going on. Okay. Like, like 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 what you doing? Right. <laughs> like, I feel me. I'm, like, I'm fly with it. Wow, that's funny. But okay, um, so you had a pretty normal childhood. Were, were you getting in trouble and shit? Yeah. Or were you like from yeah. very early on? Yeah. What kind of shit? I'm, like at school, like like. Fights and shit, like I'll be ditching school a lot. I didn't want to go to school, bro. Like, fucking hated it. Like, I hated it so much, I dropped out hella early, bro. You know, what grade? Seventh. Oof, I'm not gonna early. lie. Like 12, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, Fuck this, bro. Like, I would like hide, like, you know, my mom did think I would be thinking it should be, I'd be still going to school. Uh huh. So I'd be hopping, like, there was a little hole right there, the little middle school I was going to. I would just sneak out through a little hole. I was a fat kid back then, too, like, <laughs> fatter than I was, bro. So I'm just like, fat mother- Going across in the field right there when I used to live on Northern, right there. I was like, bro, I grew up right there too, so it's like, like, like it's crazy, like you know. What would you go do? Smoke weed at somebody's house or no, in my house. Or like, you just go back to your crib while your mom's at like, work you or My dad was my dad's a trucker, so he's gone. Mm. You feel me? He's gone. Like I'm talking about sometimes months. So it's just me and my mom, and my mom used to work at the 99 cent store. Mm. So ain't nobody taking care of me and my sisters at home, bro. Like, it's just me and my sisters, bro. Like, you know? Right. And I was sometimes, like, trying to sneak out, bro. You feel me? Like, like that's at the time where I met my baby mama, too, and shit. Like, I was, like, sneaking out to go see her type shit. You know? Like, mm-hmm. I was just trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you you meet girls and say at a young age, you're doing anything, bro. You, you sneaking out at night, you're doing a whole lot of shit. You feel me? So you were always having hoes from a young age? So, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I was fly with it, bro. You feel me? I'll be talking to my son and my son like, Daddy, I got like five bitches. I was like, Phew. What? How old Damn. is it? He's nine, bro. Nine? And he said he got five bitches. I was like, chill, bro. They're like, What? <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. I know. I was like, Why should watch my mom hear you? Like, because they live with my mom. So, right. my mom, she like, 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 what the fuck? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you talking like that? That doesn't make you want to pull him aside and be like, Listen, mm-hmm. we got to talk about bitches. I talked to my like, that's my little boy. That's my pride and joy right there. You feel mm. me? So I do be talking to him like, hey, you good and shit. Right. But it's just like, like, I just wish that I could have him with me. You feel me? Like, if I have him with me, even though I was gone, like, my little girl, she grew up without me. Mm. You feel me? She's four years old. She grew up with, like, four years I was gone. Right. You know? And so you're separate from the baby mama, so you mm-hmm. are not really getting to be involved with the kids as much as you'd want to be? It's not. That I don't want to, it's just that, like I said, it was fucked up. You know what I mean? How she handled it? Nah, like, I got, like, the way she, like, okay, like I said, like, she left me while I was in prison. Mm. Right? I heard you talk about another interview. Yeah. And I was kind of surprised that you were just being so open about it and just talking about it. Like I said, I don't want to get into shit like that, but, like, Man. <laughs> <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> so like, yeah, like, 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 that hurt. You mm. feel me? That shit hurt. So I was like, I thought she was never gonna leave, bro. Like never. Like she would always make that threat. Like I'm leaving. Like mm. you know. Sometimes she hit me so hard. 
because I called her. Oh, I'm like, then since then I'm like, all right, see you. you know? Really? Yeah, she's built cool as f though, bro. Like that's one. Like I told you, like now I ain't afraid of nobody but my baby mama. Really? You feel me? Like how long were you with her? I was a kid, bro. Since you're a kid, yeah. I mean, how how deep into the prison sentence was it when she left? Like two years. Damn, two that's years. gonna be wild. To like go through the process of like yeah. losing that. So it's just like, like it felt weird because when you you go in, you gotta you gotta you gotta type of life right before you go in. Uh huh. And then my dad told me, bro, like I was in that holding tank and I called him, like like hey, like I got locked up. He's like. Well, I hope you ain't calling me for help because I ain't helping you. And I was like, like, I got my money, bro. Like, I got money. Like, I don't need you, bro. Like, what the fuck? I'm just letting you know. I'm giving you the courtesy. Like, I'm letting, letting you know that the house got raided and uh, I'm locked up. Right. You know? Since then, I haven't spoke to my dad. I barely spoke to him. Like, this time I came home. Just because you didn't like how he handled just cause that? Just because I don't want to leave shit unfinished. Mm. You know? Like, life is too fucking short, bro. My dad is not getting any younger. You feel me? Right. Like, if I feel old as and my bones hurt. Imagine how my dad worked. Like, you feel me? Like, so it's like, I wanted to slam. Like, man, what? So everything I did till now was just like to show him I love. Look what I got, bro. Mm. You feel me? Like, who else do it like me, nigga? Like, nobody has done it like me like that. You mm. feel me? Like, he always said I wasn't going to be nobody. He always told me this. He always told me that. You know, like. Did he say that to you from a really young age or did he start to say that to you once you started getting in trouble and shit? Once I started getting in trouble, like I said, it's my fault. I got nothing to, nobody to blame but me. Mm. You feel me? I decided to get in, like, to do them stupid shit. You feel me? So it's just like, like, fuck it, bro. Like, I didn't complain. I was just like, well, all right, fuck it. You know, like. I'm guessing dad. that the thing that's important to you is not just that you made it financially or whatever but that you did it by being yourself and not exactly. having to conform and go. i had to change exactly except this time like like last time last time i came home bro i came home with a loose groove type shit, you feel me i was wild and bro i was snapping on everybody i was snapping on my girl i'm over here like man this like you feel me and then like why do you think that was the perks mm. for sure i was wild and bro i'm talking about like <laughs> crazy you know like, the syrup is crazy, too, bro. Like, fuck, bro, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that shit just turned me into, like, I thought it was me. You feel me? Like, I thought, like, oh, that, that, that. When I'm high, when I'm high off this opiate shit, bro, like, I like this person. You know? Mm. This person's fun, bro. Like, this person is, like, don't give a shit, bro. Like, you know? And sometimes when I be getting high, like, like when I got locked up this time, that first day was crazy, bro, because I was kicking like a motherfucker, fool, like, you know? And then, like, I went through it, you know? Like, uh, what was it, like a couple days or? Nah, nigga, it's just two weeks, bro. I'm two weeks here, like, where you're like, I'm on your deathbed? I said, bro, I'm over here in MCJ, I'm a top rack like this and shit, because I'm in, like, I'm with like three other black guys and shit. Like, they thought I was from Hoover. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I just I just get out, bro. Like, like first day out, bro. I'm like, man, I'm going. Like, Psh, they popped the cell, and I'm like, fuck it, bro. I'm sliding out. And I meet some homies from Florence, and I was like, well, shut. They like they know me and shit. Hey, pops, come in here. Like, I say less, now. That was it. Mm. That was it. I was always on my toes there, though, bro. I was like, the first night I was just chilling, bro. Like, all right, just watching TV the whole night. Right. On the phone, I'm like, fuck it, you know. Right. Ain't shit to do, but. On the phone and watch TV. So did you start getting fucked up in jail or did you leave it behind on the streets? Nah, like, okay, when I got locked up, that's when I started fucking with that shit. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'd just be bored, bro, and I'd be like, fuck it, let's go. Right. You know? And that's how it was, bro. Like, but like this time, it was like crazy because it's like when I kicked it, I was like, man, yeah, like, I don't need that shit. I thought I needed smoking weed because if I didn't have a blend in my hand back then, bro, I'm like, you know, I'm like, bro. Like, I just feel anxious. I need a park or I need a blend. Like, you start off doing it to feel something, and then as time good. goes like, by, like, it just becomes good, such a habitual I, yeah, part of you. Yeah, when I be high, bro, I'm going to be like, man, f everything, bro. Mm. Everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't see my bracelet came out. You think, like, the drugs, in a way, it helps you? Like, 
put off growing up. Yeah. Because it makes you not want to deal with all the it that you should be dealing do with as shit, a man. Bro. Yeah. Like, not shit. And that's how it was for me. Like, I had a lot to deal with that fucking, like, first time I came home, you feel me? Mm hmm Like, a lot, bro. My parents didn't want me pulling up to the crib. Like, I couldn't see my kids. It's like, man, what the f***, bro? Like, the f point of being a parent if you can't be a dad, bro? Like, the hell? Why were they keeping you away from the kids? Because I just came home, bro, and it's like, there was just a lot of shit going on with me, bro. Like, you know, like, they thought I was going to come home and start, like, turning up. You know what I mean? Like, like they didn't know what I was going to do, you know? Mm. I was just chilling, you know? Definitely. So... Yeah. So, okay, like, you did one longer bid and then this shorter one? Yeah. Okay, how long was that first one? Nah, first, I kept on getting locked up, though, before this shit, Oh, okay. But I kept bailing out. Right. I mean, fuck it, I'm not going to stay here. If I got the money, I'm going home, you know? But then there was that one time, bro, that they're like, hey, you're on probation. You got probation violation. I was like, what? Hold, no bail. I was like, damn. I was just like, so I just had... To be for like this time, bro. So let's try to bail me out. Literally. Nothing. You feel me? I had a hold on me from Sacramento. I'm like, really? even this time, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Uh huh. I was, I was supposed to be back in Sac County. Right. You know? Because you got out briefly. How long were you out? Like nine months ago when you got out? I was only out for a month. Oh, it was a month and then you got locked up again? Yeah. Damn. Stupid shit. How are you going to avoid that this time around? Just gotta move around a little smarter or? I don't know. Just don't move the same as I was moving back then. Right. You know? Be low key. Low key is the key, you know? Is it possible to even be like a, a Mexican street rapper and be able to be like truly low key? Or is it just inevitable that you're just gonna end up with people wanting nah, to test your okay, spot? Like, like, with me, bro, that's the thing with me. Like, I like sometimes, okay, look. I like being out there. Like, I like motherfucking scene. Like, damn, is that Chito? You mm -hmm. know? But I don't like, like, people approaching me like, like, hey, are you Chito? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah. It's, it's very like, hard to tell if somebody's a fan or somebody who doesn't like you. And, yeah. and, and that feeling of having to be, like, on alert for everybody when you're in, like, a crowded place. Bro, when I you have, like, when you're, like, a celebrity though, or, or you're Literally, even known at I all. I can't even eat. That shit is, it's, a, it's a very nerve-wracking like, thing. Like, if, if fans would be more respectful, would be like, because last time I'm eating, bro, and, and someone was taking pictures while I was eating, then I turn around, I'm like, what the fuck? Right. Like, like, bro, that's disrespectful as hell. Especially coming from uh, the, the prison mentality. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, come on, man. I came home fucked up. So he's like, you don't understand how I'm feeling right now, bro? Like, chill. Right. You feel me? I'm always, like, aware, bro. Like, I'm just chilling. Like, when I came home first day out last time, like, it was nothing I wanted to do, bro. I was just in the studio making songs, and I was like, bro, like, fuck that. You know, like, I'm trying to go home. Like, I'm just trying to chill. Like, that's why this time... That's what I did. Mm. I just chill, bro. Like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just kicking it. Right. You know? This is too risky being out there, right? It's not even that, bro. It's like, I moved about the city already. You feel me? Mm. Like, Sack ain't got nothing for me, fool. Like, what the f***? So Sack's over. You're not, you're nah, not, it's not over. You're not trying to spend time there? It's not though? over. It's not that. You feel me? It's not that. It's just that. You know, like... Ain't that the whole plan since the get-go? Mm. Like, don't you want to be rich? Don't you want to have a big-ass house? There ain't no big-ass houses in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. CML moved to te Texas or some shit like that, you feel me? Right. Smart man. You respect it. Yeah, like, what the f***? Like, you can't hate on him. What the f***? How are you going to, you gonna, like... Bro, if I hate on you for having something better than me, like, that's just going to be like, what the f*** is wrong with me, bro? But you know, like, the crabs in the barrel mentality is to say that it's, like, pussy <clears throat> to leave the city that you came up rapping in, right? Even though we all know that's crazy. You can't call me pussy, bro. That's the only thing I'm saying. This is not done what I've done and been where I've been, bro. Like, man, so if a motherfucker ain't on my level, the f*** out my way. Who who are you looking at 
when you were coming up out of Sacramento? Because you, you really got popping, what, like four or five years ago? Mm-hmm. And who were you looking up to coming out of that era? Were you looking at mostly black artists or were there Mexican nah, artists coming just, out of there too? Nah, it's like, like, like back then I used to, I used to like hear a lot of shit, bro. Like, I heard a lot of music growing up. You feel me? Corridos, hip hop, all this shit. You know, like, growing up, I was into everything. Uh-huh. You feel me? I used to learn how to play the little bass guitar and shit. Cause like, you feel me? I want to learn something. You know? So it's like, my like, yeah, shit, like, you know? Your parents were putting you on the music? Not really, like, they would just hear it. You know, like, my mom be cleaning, she'll be slapping those bookies and shit, you know? Right. My dad would be in the, I mean, my, my dad sometimes forced me, like, to go with him and shit, so he'll be just slapping hella music loud. And I'm like, damn, nigga, so these guitars and shit. Like, and then I'll be like a little kid, like, man, too many guitars. But then it's like. You don't fuck with the rock it. shit? I love it too. Like you do, like that Black Sabbath shit. Like you know, like that shit hoard. That's sick. That shit hoard. You know, I like a lot of shit. Hell yeah. Um. Okay. So, what made you actually really want to start rapping though? Mm. Just the fact that it changed my life. You know. You knew yeah. that this was a big opportunity, but how did you know that you were going to be nice at it, or what? What even gave you that drive? Fuck, I don't even know. I just knew motherfuckers wasn't fucking with me on that Spanish shit. Like, if I was doing fluent, it was not, you know, like, I'll hear a lot of motherfuckers, and it's not them, you know, like, I'm really him. Mm. You feel me? Like, like, I'll hear a lot of rappers' music and shit, and that's just ass and shit, you feel me? Like, so it's like, I know when I hear my shit, and I can put it on replay, and I'm like, oh, the fuck, like, like I know I got a good song, you feel me? I like good music, so I got good music. You know? mm-hmm. So I know that I'm good. How long are you grinding before it actually started to take off, though? Like, how long? Two years like, of putting yeah. shit out on YouTube and having it not really go crazy before it, it started it hitting? It wasn't really, like, that serious back then, though. Like, I would just go to the studio just to, like, get away from the house and shit and kick it. You know, like, that would be, like, the only reason why I'd be there. And I'd just be chilling, bro. I'd just be having hella fun right there in the studio. Like, that shit's fun. You know, like, uh-huh. and then when you drop a verse and then, like, the homies be like, damn, man, that shit hard. Like, hell yeah. You know? Like, I knew my shit was good because even then producers, like engineers back then, they would be like, damn, bro, like, okay, like, your shit clean. And I'd be like, all right. And that shit started building my confidence up, mm-hmm. you know? So I was like, all right, man, like, I'm going to start taking with it, you know? And what was that first song that uh, took off? Which one? Yeah. Like Patrullando, like, in Norsec, baby. Right. Yeah. And that just, like, did it just, you put it on YouTube and it just started going up? Or was there anything in particular that? I gave it to Slash and Slash posted it and then I reposted it and then it went up. No. Was it on King Lil G's uh, YouTube at first? Nah, not that one. Oh, okay. Not that one. But you did have some stuff that went on there, and was that like a, a part of the come up? Yeah, but that was then, you know, like that shit wasn't nothing serious like that, you know? What was your relationship with him early on? Nothing. I met the man like one time, that's it. Oh, wow. oh twice actually, that's it. Like, people act like it was more than it was? Not even that. Like, people don't even say shit. Oh, okay. You know, like, I don't hear nobody talking about it. Okay. It's like, oh, I used to be an AK-47 boy, but, like, that was then, bro, like, you know? For sure. It's just, like, some. sometimes I talk to people and they talk about their music and they just talk about putting it on YouTube and it just goes crazy and that's just, they blow up from there. And then some people, they got to kind of, like, buy promo and, like, figure out how to sort of get it into that position. It's like sometimes it seems like the algorithm just kind of does it for you. I ain't never had to buy promo. You never did it? Mm-mm. I don't like. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was blessed. I was blessed. Where your music just kind of stood out from the beginning? Because, like, in my section, there's nobody like me like that. Mm. You know? I mean, there'd be like some, like some fools trying to rap, but they just trash. Did you feel like you got the support locally right away? Or were, like was it hood, like they started hood, fucking with you because you started doing me numbers? Like from the beginning, like, from the beginning, they were like, man, you going up. Mm. 
You know, like my OGs from my hood, like they would tell me, man, you're going up. You know? Like, man, they telling me that, then like, fuck, it must be true. You feel me? Because look where I'm at. You feel me? Mm. And like I said, motherfuckers, like you, the you, the normal motherfucker in my position, bro, like he would be struggling right now. You know? Just because you've been locked up a couple times and. It's just the way that I see shit. Like, I see motherfuckers in saw with no canteen and no nothing. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, and here I am with hella food. I'm like, damn. No, no, I'm glad. I don't know how that feel like. Who was taking care of you while you're locked up? The label? Your family? Solis, my girl. Mm. Yeah. Solis is the owner of OTR. Yeah, slaps. I you don't know, like, that's it. You know, like, all my homies, they would be like, What's up? Man? You look like a few. Like my little brothers. My little brother got locked up. That's when I went down, my little brother got locked up too. And that shit hurt. Mm. You know, so it's just like now that's why I came on different. I'm just like, man, like, I ain't trying to lose my little brothers no more, you feel me? Right. I'm trying to show my little niggas like, hey bro, you could rap, you feel me? Like, so you lost your little brother while you were locked up? Both. Like I lost Holly and then I lost my little brother Demon. Demon got locked up. Right. Yeah. Now he you know, you find hot ones and shit, you feel me? How much worse is that being locked up and having to deal with a loss? Not being able to be <sighs> bro, around for the it's family damn and shit. the same shit, bro. You know, like, yeah, you could talk to him and all that, and I'm still thankful for that, but it's just like, like, finding time, bro, it hurts, you feel me? So, like, his baby was just born, too. That's my goddaughter, you know? So I'm just That's like, when I went down, all that shit started, started like, Unraveling this shit I'm just like Damn like Like what the fuck Like I was damn near Gonna give up All my money Just to get this nigga A lawyer mm. You know and This nigga's like Bro it's a lost cause You feel me Like I'm like nigga Don't even give up That fight You feel me Like You still got it You know That little nigga That was like My pride and joy Right there You feel me Like I got his name Tattered on me mm. You feel me Like that guy, I was with that kid Every single day When I was home you know, like, I love that kid. Like, I seen that little nigga grow up, bro. Mm. You feel me? Like, I seen that little kid with, like, riding around with long-ass hair and shit. You feel me? And that shit, I was just be like, damn, this little nigga hot boy. You know? Like, I like him. I'm trained to go. Mm. You know? He got locked up. When, when I got locked up, he got locked up, too. You know, like, last time. He came home first, and then when I came home, he just, Big swole kid, huh? And he goes, whoa. I'm like, God damn. And here I am, skinny as fuck. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck? The hell they feed you? You know? And just like, having that, having his support right there too. Like, like that kid, like, I have my life because of him. You feel me? Like, that kid was everywhere, bro. Overprotective as fuck. Wouldn't let nobody near me. Mm. You feel me? I love that fucking kid. You feel me? So that's why I'm just like, bro, like, like, man, man, my young ones is telling me, like, bro, change. And these fools are hot kids. So I'm just like, bro, like, I got to set the right example for them now. Mm. You know? I'm, I'm almost 30. You feel me? So, like. But the type of shit that you thought was normal when you were 18 or 16 or whatever is probably the type of shit that you don't want. Your young homies to have to go through that you lived through, right? Well, it's like seeing my son grow up too, cause I see my I see my little son like he reminds me of me. Hmm. That little kid looked just like me when I was a kid. Little fat boy, you know. Except the little motherfucker fly as fuck, you know. Like he's my little nigga. So it's like I gotta put out a right example for him. You feel me? Like that's why I'm I'm like learning how to like. I would disrespect his mama a lot, you feel me? So I'll be trying to, like, now I'll be trying to, like, kick back. Like, you know what? Like, before I make that call to her, I'm going to just kick back before I'm ready for that, you feel me? Because I ain't trying to be like, ah, and then I'm, here I go again, snapping. There was something you said before where you said that when you started rapping, it didn't feel, you know, competitive or it didn't feel like that big a deal. How does it feel now? Like, do you feel like being number one, really matters to you? Is it just about being the best me, version of you? Is it about just making money to be able to feed your exactly, family and take care like, of yourself? Like me, like the money gonna come regardless whether I'm doing rap or whether the fuck I'm 
in the fields or where the fuck I'm working construction. Mm -hmm. like, the money gonna come. Like, I'm still gonna have money. You know what? It's just competition. Like, the fuck? Like, what? Why? Like, I ain't, I ain't no longer competition with nobody, bro. Like, I just want to be better than me. Mm. You know, like, there's not a lot of rappers, too, that I want to collab either. You feel me? Like, I just want to be me. I want to practice my verses. I want to see how I sound on this beat. I want to see my voice on this whole complete song. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, that song was cool. Okay, now let's make a better one. You feel me? Like, I be having writer's block, too, all the time and shit, and it's like, I'm trying to beat that. Really? You feel me? So it's just like... You overthink it when it comes to nah, music these days? Nah, I just get bored. Mm. I just get bored. I be hearing the beats and shit, and the beats is just like trash, and I'm just like, damn, bro. And then I be hearing like other beats, and then it's just like, yeah, like, but can I like really think to it and shit? And then I got Sal Treasy. Sal Treasy, that's my boy, and I got Mad Bricks, right? They make me beats. But it's like, like... Like, I got a short attention span, too, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, Well, you've only been free for four days. Exactly. So how much have you recorded since you got out? I ain't recorded shit. Because I feel like a lot of people come home and just go crazy in the studio Fuck right man. away because they have so much built bro, up. Like, really? Oh, I'm big just really, bro. Like, so when it happens, it'll happen? or? Whenever I feel like, like, fuck it, let's do it, let's do it. You know, like, I wanted to go to the studio today, but then I'm just like, eh. Like, is, is, away. like, let me enjoy my little freedom real quick, you shit, you feel me? Like, before anything, you feel Is me? the like, jail mentality not, like, a good mentality to go into the studio with? Like, people don't want to hear that energy? Um, I don't know what you mean by that one, like, 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 like... Versus, like... Tripping and shit, or, like... All right, if you just, if, if Friday night you fucking go out to a crazy party and you get a bunch of bitches and you're doing a bunch of drugs and you're having a grand old time, and then Saturday you go in the studio and you still are in that headspace of doing a bunch of fly shit, is that the environment in which you're going to make your best song? Or is it going to be after you just got done sitting in a fucking room with a bunch of dudes like, for, like, for like, a year? My best song is like, like, like Letra and shit like that is when I be wilding. Right. When I be like, like, I be doing my shit, and then I be hitting the studio that same day, and I talk about what happened. Right. You know, so I just be, I be doing my shit, you know? Right. And when I get to the studio, like, okay, that just, you know? Like, that shit feel fun, like. Because I feel like a lot, of, a lot of artists have that perspective, like, I'm not going to be able to make a great song if I'm wearing my pajamas. That's, that's overthinking it too much. That's why I feel like a lot of rappers get fly as fuck to go to the studio, even though there's nobody around. I do that too, though. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie because look, look, look. You, you put on all your chains motto. and it's Here's just my you. Motto. What I say, slash, what I say, if you look good, you feel good. Mm -hmm. You look like a million bucks, you're gonna get that million bucks. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And if you feel good, you rap good. And if you rap good, you eat good. All right, damn nigga, I am hungry right now. <laughs> like, boy. <laughs> like, on God, and like. Yeah. You've been doing it for a long time. Do you feel like, is there like a sense of like, holy shit, there's a new popping rapper coming up every six months or whatever? Or do you feel like, have, have you earned your status where you're going to be respected no matter what comes out? Mm, like... I mean... A motherfucker gonna respect it regardless and shit, cause like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't deny my worth that thick either, you know? Like, like I'm quick with it, like, you know, I'm fly with it. Like I said, they ain't fucking with me, so I'm just like, you know what I mean? So I'll be okay, like, like if motherfuckers respect that, they gonna respect like the, the, the originality that I got. Mm. You feel me? Because I know motherfuckers be hearing other fool songs and be like, what the fuck? This ain't like Cheeto shit. Right. You know? Because to me, like, you're a younger dude. But then when I see somebody like Lefty coming out with the Cheeto flow, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, your influence is big enough that people are almost, like, giving you that OG status, you know? Yeah. Like, acknowledging that you've been influential on a lot of different people. Yeah. Shout out to him, you know? What did you think when you saw that song? Was that kind of crazy to just be like, damn, 
people really see my impact. Yeah. You don't seem like overtly enthusiastic. It's, 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 I'm not even gonna lie to you, like, you feel me, like, shout out to bro, you feel me, like, Anybody you know, work hard. What the fuck is that? Like the smoke detector or something? I don't know. We'll be smoking here all day. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the TV. Oh, oh it's the beeping. Oh. <laughs> On the gang. <laughs> hey. It's his the ankle monitor. Nah, nah, my ankle monitor. Cool, brother. Like. Dude, we're, we're never gonna run out of funny shit that can just randomly happen on this podcast because that's a first right there. Oh, Bro, it was God. so loud. I felt like it was coming from the ceiling. No, I thought it was a light. I'm like, what the I'm like why would the light make a beep? And then when you started, like, away, I thought it was following you guys. <laughs> okay, so back to your regular scheduled broadcast. Um, yeah, we were just kind of talking about like the next generation of dudes coming up that may or may not have been influenced by you yeah how do you feel about that i mean good because i was influenced by other good because i mean i was influenced by other fools too you know mm -hmm. so like if i do that to somebody else and you know and they grinding hard because of it and shit nigga then shout outs to me you feel me for sure Cause I can't lie, bro. Got crazy work that day too, though. Like he be grinding. I see him everywhere, bro. It was talking about him in the pain too. I'm like, what the hell? Right. I'm like, all right, what's up? Hmm? Definitely. And uh, you guys are on the same label, so do you think you'll end up working together? Right now, I just want to focus on me. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like bro got his wave already. You know, like let me get back into me. How continue where I left off? You know. Right. So like I told you before, like features. I'm not really worried about that right now. Let me show you what I could do real quick, you know? That's important to you to, like, mm -hmm. be able to show that you can maintain your, your status doing it yourself? Yeah. So I even maintain my status just, like, like, let me, like, let me just shine real quick, you know? Like, that's it. Like, I've been gone. I only got to shine, like, I only got, like, little 15 minutes of fame, you know? I mean, a lot of people get locked up and... They get out and the views on their shit be hurting. And, yeah, that's and crazy. Bro. Then there's some people. There's like other artists who they get locked up and the shit when they get out is fucking huge. And it's like I feel like you're probably more on the, the side of where people are gonna be dying to see what your music is like when you get out. But I mean, it is kind of crazy. Like your spot is not guaranteed. If you get locked up for a year, you might lose your spot, yeah. depending on how good your music actually is. You know. The good thing is that I had hella shit saved up to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wasn't really tripping. I was just like, I was just more mad at the point that I was locked up. You know, like I was calling on Solis, snapping on him. You know, like I was calling my girl, snapping on her. You know, like to drop the music. Nah, it's just like I wasn't happy in there, bro. Like I wasn't focusing on music again right there until like the towards the end of the term. Mm -hmm. You know, in the beginning, I'm just like, fuck, bro, let me get out again. You know, because it didn't even feel like I was home, you know? I just felt like I had a dream. I was home. I woke up, and I was somewhere else. They transferred me somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know? So I was just like, fuck. But, but they were dropping music while you were locked mm -hmm. up, right? Like, how many videos do you think you dropped during? I really don't know. I dropped a couple, though. Okay. You know? So while you're locked up, are you getting into bullshit, or are you trying to keep your nose clean? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be kind of tempting, right, to... Be nah. doing all the wild shit as long as you got all this time in your hands. I ain't gonna lie, LA County was fucking fun, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit was fun as hell. Really? Yeah. It's it's more lit to get locked up down here than to get locked up up north. Nah, it's just like I ain't never been to LA County, bro. You feel me? So I was like, okay, like this is something else, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody talk about LA County, and I was like, okay, fuck, you know, like let's see what it is. Right. And everybody cool as fuck, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, like, you feel me? Like, that's that's the reason why I do it, you feel me? Because, like, the homies be like, bro, you the one, you the one. I'm just like, okay. 
I was in MCJ and shit, and I went from MCJ, I went to Supermax. And when I was in Supermax, I was just chilling for a little bit. They made me a trustee within like the fucking first three days that I was there. And I went there, and I only lasted a week, bro. I got fired my first day I went to work. What's a trustee? I guess you you go to the kitchen and shit and work. Okay. You know? So they had me as a trustee, and I got fired my first day. It just wasn't for you? You were fucking up or what? Nah, bitch ass. Who would I try to, like, like, like talk down on me and shit? You feel mm. me? I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't talking to me like this, nigga. And he's like, what? <laughs> like I said, you ain't talking to me like this, nigga. He's like... Cause it was over my canteen, bro. Mm, Cause you had too much and he had too no, little. No, I had my no nah, fuck. I don't give a shit about that. It's like <laughs> I had my canteen, but this dumbass motherfucker dropped the receipt. I had another receipt in my pocket, you know. So this nigga's like, "Where's your receipt?" I could have easily said, "Yo, dumbass dropped it," but I was like, "Here, take this one." I didn't fucking know that I'm supposed to have a fucking receipt in there, uh-huh. you know. I just said, "Take this one," and this motherfucker tried to grab my hand and throw it in there. I'm like, hey, you bitch-ass nigga, you ain't supposed to be touching me. What the fuck? He's like, what? That's when I snapped on him. And that's when another hood I came in and some lady came in and she's like, hey, 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 relax, relax. You good. You know, just get back in line. Uh-huh. So I'm going back in line and shit, and I'm just like, damn, nigga, I got fired, huh? He's like, yeah, you did. <laughs> really? Just yeah. like that? So I'm, I'll go back to my dorm and shit. I just lay down, I'm kicking in. And then... The next morning, I'm like, I guess I didn't get fired. And right when I said that, boom, they called me, roll my shit up. I'm like, the fuck? I go back down. No, I go back up with the, yeah. And I'm in blues again. And I'm just chilling there. And like a week later, they transferred me to South. And I don't know, and I was in the South. I barely landed there, bro. I was all scruffy and shit, you know? My hair was getting long. I wouldn't let nobody touch my tail. Mm. Feel me? So I wasn't getting no haircut. So that is like the the boldest hairstyle. You got like just back, and then there's a shaved spot, and then you got a crazy ass tail. Yeah, it's like an optical it. illusion. It's my all my little homies got it. No, that shit's hard. Yeah, that's an innovative hairstyle. Yeah, my shit. Rest in peace, Barky. You feel me? But yeah, they transferred me to South, and when I landed in South, it was just like it was. It was cool. It was cool as fuck. You know, like, I landed in a different, I landed in the Dome 45, and then when I was there, they like, instantly somebody was like, hey, are, are you Chito? Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah. You know, he's all like, oh shit. All right. And then I'm in the shower, bro, and then there's a homie there from 18th Street, bro. He just keeps looking at me and just looking, I'm looking back at him. And he's like, 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 you from 18? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Big ass 18 on the face. <laughs> I'm like, which side? And he's like, I'm from the north side. I'm like, okay. I'm Chito. He's like, oh, okay. And he asked me, what's up with us? And I was like, I don't give a fuck. You know? He's like, that's right. I'm like, okay. And that that nigga became my best friend in that motherfucker. You feel me? The homie striker. You feel me? That is real motherfucker right there. That was my boy the whole time I was right there. You feel me? So so we always hear about this divide in California between like the southerners and the northerners. But you went to jail in LA County and it was all good. People weren't really tripping. You were well received. Yeah, they loved me right there. They were cool as fuck. Like I said, I got nothing bad to say about them. Like they. They cool as fuck. They know how to program. They like, you know, feel me? Like my respects. Mm. You feel me? I feel like I I watched you talk about jail in a couple different interviews, and it seems like you are the type of dude who prefers to not say too much about all the the things that go on in there. Fuck no, that shit. That's important to you. And we're talking, bro. Like, like, look at this, bro. Look like a beautiful life is, bro. Freedom. Why you want to talk about jail? Right. You know. Look at freedom, bro. Like. I mean, yeah, you have fun times in there, but you feel me? That's over. Thank God. Definitely. You know, like, shit, I just want to get money and fuck bitches, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You're single right now? Nah. No, you got a girl, but you still fucking bitches? Nah, bro. What the (laughs) fuck? You said me. Sorry. (laughs) You said you want to fuck bitches. Well, like, like, you know what I mean. Get pussy. Right, right, right. 
You know, my girl pussy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I just did it. I just fucked your day up. <laughs> you gonna... gotta tell your girl, like, I'm playing a character when I go in there. Like, that's not me. It's for entertainment purposes, baby. Yeah. I gotta keep these people entertained. You know what I mean? That's what you gotta tell her. Listen to the man. <laughs> she gotta believe you. <laughs> um... So, okay, now that you're, like, actually getting back to normal life, though, like, what what do you feel like you have to do to really hit the ground running as an artist? Like, what I, I know there's still shit you want to do in your career. Is it enough for you to just keep putting shit out, or are you trying to, like, do some big shit? Like, I don't, I don't know what the game plan looks like. Fuck, I don't even know what the game plan is right now. I just came home, and I just want to enjoy life real quick, you know, like, like... I have all this money, bro. Like I haven't, I ain't, I ain't never had money like that. You know, like I had money before I got locked up and shit. Don't get me wrong, but, but I was going to my kids. I was going to my BM. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like this is the first time, bro. Where I'm like, it's about me, bro. Like, fuck. I, I just bought me a fucking Hellcat, bro. Red eye, bro. Like, come on, man. I was in the pen when I did this. I was in the pen when I bought the house, bro. Right. Is your money like ninety percent from streams? Yeah. And then what else is there? Just shows, but you haven't really been able to do a I lot never of that. Did a show like that. You never really made money from shows. Oh. Mm. That's interesting. Are you planning on touring and shit? Fuck, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I be getting stage fright. Really? Yeah. I'll be having to get like stupid drunk, so I don't remember what I did that day. It must be weird being as popular as you well, are. Last time but I, you last haven't time had I to get used to performing. Last time I performed, I, like when I was at, at Rose Cran's thing. Right. When I was at Vic's thing. I had an ankle monitor again that day, too. Mm -hmm. And I was fucked up, bro. In that interview? Nah, not an interview, bro. It's, it, it was, it oh, was a show. Oh, you, you like, did a show with him I as well. I did a show with okay. him, like, like hell of years ago. And I did notice you were in a really good mood in that one interview, too, but I wasn't sure if you were fucked up. I fucking up. love that guy, bro. Like, <laughs> I fucking love him. Oh, wow. Like, I love that guy. He's a real, like, huge supporter, bro. I got nothing bad to say. Shout out to every Rose time, It's like, look, look, check this out. Like, every time I see him, I just fucking smile, bro. <laughs> really? I swear to God. He's just such like, a nice guy. I'm like, hey, look, when I see Junior, like, I swear <laughs> to God, I see him, I'm like, like, hey, come here, motherfucker. <laughs> right. You know? I swear to God, like I love my, I love my homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I never heard anybody say "fuck Rosecrans Vic." I hate that guy. Bro, if everybody ever did, he got smoked, nigga. Shit. I wonder, I wonder if he's got haters. Like, are there Rosecrans Vic ops? If I do, it, you feel me? You know what you could do, nigga. It's <laughs> a pretty good shout out. Uh, okay. That's the boy right there, though. Like, I swear to God, ah. You really light up when you talk about him. Yeah, it's cause like I, re it's just nothing but good ass memories when I'm when I when I when I be with that fool. Like last time when I was like, we had a video shoot, bro. I was my niggas age, hey, shit, the car and the and shit. And it was just like just the road, the, the drive over there it was just like a fucking mission, bro. Like it was crazy. Uh huh. You know, like. It's, it's, I don't know why, it's like me, bro. Son, there's something that gotta happen in my in my day at least that's be like, why? What the fuck? Why? You know? Mm. Like this shit was not planned. You know? Wait, this so this is not on the schedule. You feel me? We were talking about like I think this is interesting because the average rapper does their first show when they're not popular at all, and like you're already in the position of be becoming pretty damn popular, oh, having shit. all these songs with millions of views and shit. And you haven't even performed yet. So it's like, is it the idea of it's kind of nerve wracking? Damn, I ain't gonna ask you on my shit. Huh? Like, you, have, you haven't done like a real nah, show? Nah, I yet? mean, I did a show with Lil G when I was like first popping and shit. When I oh, okay. first popping, when I first started and shit. Uh huh. But that shit wasn't even nothing, bro. I just was there like 30 seconds and I left. Like, oh, okay. Fuck. You just like popped out for a song? Yeah, not even a song, bro. Like, 30, like not even 30 seconds of my shit. I think you should do your first show sober. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you can really feel it. Like, really feel the man, awkwardness. You sound like Slabs and Solis right now, bro. Like I'm just saying, man. They, they, they literally told me I couldn't pop a perk the day I signed. I'm like, man. I they was, stopped you from popping a perk. Bro, he called everybody. Like, don't give Tito shit. I'm like, damn, bro. I was in bed kicking like, fuck, bro. Like, you know? So you were, like, getting clean while you're also happy as fuck from signing? Look, signing... That shit was like whatever. Like I just did it just for solace, you know. Uh -huh. Like that's my boy for me. Like yeah, I wanted to sign this cool, you feel me? Like but I, like I didn't understand none of that shit. Right. You feel me? Like now I understand what it means. You feel me? Like now I'm smart. You feel it? Like like now I came home like like 
I'm gonna do what I wanna do. You feel me? Like I'm not doing what the label won't tell me to do. Like like my respects to the label and all that. But mm-hmm. it's just like like hey yeah hey, hey, y'all wanted me for me, right? For let me do me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna wild out no more. Like I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm chilling. You feel me? Like it's a fine line because like if you are my artist, it's like on one hand, yeah, I want you to be yourself. Yeah. On the other hand, you're a fucking grown man. So yeah, it's like exactly. if you want to take a perk, yeah, nobody what, wants what, to be what fucking can I really like, say? I don't want to have a babysitter on me all the time either. You feel me? Like right. Like they always be having someone on me sometimes too and shit because like 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 back then they was tripping, you know? So I would always be with babyface. Mm. You feel me? I don't let Tito drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> My bad to bro, but one time I left him in the studio and I took off. What? <laughs> They're trying to protect their investment, right? Well, yeah, but fuck, I'm still human, bro. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I still want to do shit. But you can still be human and not be, like, getting drunk and driving around, right? Which is probably the kind of... I drink, though. That's the thing. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to think of the kind of things that they're going to stop shit. you from doing. Well, yeah, like, I just don't want to go back to jail or just do some stupid shit, you know? Like, I'm cool. Right. Huh? Like fuck, bro. Like now I could just walk to my mailbox with no nothing. You feel me? I could go to my corner store and I ain't even gotta have a fucking gun, bro. Like I live with white people. Mm. You know? I'm the only ghetto ass motherfucker in the hood. <laughs> people at Starbucks be looking at you funny or what? I haven't tried that yet. Oh, <laughs> you haven't tried Starbucks, but I'm gonna try that. In general though, you're the only face tattooed dude in your area. People give you vibes, or people mostly seem pretty cool. No, nah, I mean that. I mean they do be running to their car like a little fast. The time we went to Costco, <laughs> nigga, you know, that you lady was lock the doors <laughs> when you walk by. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's it feel like? Like I feel like it's it's very interesting that within the like Mexican rap community. Over the last couple of years, we've seen so many different like uh, Instagram accounts and different like podcasts and different like commentators and people making videos about different types of content and talking about all these different rappers and shit. How tapped into all that kind of shit are you? And do you feel like it's overall like healthy for the scene? Bro, I'm not even tapped in like that. Really? I'd be asking him like, "Hey, fool, what's, what's going on right now?" You know, when I was in prison, I'd be like, "Hey, fool, what's going on? I ain't nothing, shit, Bobby. All right, I guess." And. That's it, bro. I don't even. I don't be knowing shit what happened on the outside. Mm. You know, like I missed a lot of shit. You know. Are you just like in your own world, even when you're on the outside, or is it just the fact that when you're locked up, you just don't pay attention to anything? I'm just like hella used to being by myself and shit. So I just, I just be chilling. I don't really be doing much and shit. Like now, bro, I just came home. Like, bro, it just feels good to be in bed. <laughs> you know, like. I be laying in bed and shit. Like last time I had Zay, Slabs, everybody, bro. You know, they were right there in the house and shit. They were in the lab and I was just like, hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be gone for a minute, be in bed. <laughs> just go lay down. Yeah. I'll fall asleep, walk back like fuck, five hours later and shit. You know, where you go? Oh, my bad. I see rappers like get out of jail and just go. They're in the mall. They're in the fucking. There's the studio. Fuck they're in the that. club. We tried that last time, bro. I'm I'm shopping online now. We tried that <laughs> last time. We were over here tripping on everybody. I'm spazzing on everybody in there. Like fuck that. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, I can understand wanting to like go out there and be with the people and shit. It's not but bad. just imagine going out when you're kicking off a perk. Yeah, you're just all cranky. I mean, like, so you just oh. always kicking perks. Sometimes, but it's like not even because I was always having one. <laughs> right. You know, like, I was always like, oh. You don't know how bro. bad it is until you run out. Not even that, bro, because I would never run out. Right. You know? I'll be doing sometimes hiding from me and shit, but. Right. You know, like, everything's cool. You know? Like, I don't know what it would be like to not have coffee. I just haven't had to go without it, like, ever. I don't know. Maybe I would be all fucked up having to sleep all day. I think I'd be all right. I probably wouldn't have the energy to do podcasts all day, though. Yeah. I'd probably be nodding off in the pod. I don't, I don't really like coffee like that. No? Energy drinks? None of that I shit? That. Like, I like coffee, but it got to be, like, stupid sweet. Oh, really? Yeah, like, <laughs> so, like, super milky and hella, like, fucking sweet. I used to be like that. You know, like, I can't stand this, like, like just the normal coffee. 
I put like a little tiny bit of cream in it now. Like the homie when I was inside, he'd be like, he'd be like, you want some coffee? I'll taste it. What the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. I'll make my coffee and be like, man, okay, like, all right. But so you're n you're not smoking weed the whole time you're locked up, and then you get out and you just immediately get back to it. Nah, I was still smoking weed on the inside. Oh really? Yeah, I'm smoking wax. Just a lot more difficult. Wax is the move in there. I don't know. Just because it's like small and easy to transport. Fuck, I don't even know. I was just buying shit, everything, bro. Like just buying the wax, every single thing. Everything they got for sale? Nah, just the wax, like oh, okay. every, every, all the wax. But then how you smoke it? You got like a little torch set up or? Nah, it's like, fuck, I say shit. You don't know want to air it up? Apple hairs and shit. The apple, you know, the bottom of the apple got some hairs on that motherfucker. Uh-huh. You know? I try tea, but that shit's nasty. <laughs> so I just do the bottom of the apples. Oh, the, the apple bomb mm -hmm. type move. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had to do that in a while. That shit had me, like, bro, that's when I really realized, like, damn, nigga, you're Chito Ranas, bro. <laughs> you can't be smoking wax out of an apple in prison. <laughs> No, nah, I was rolling joints, brother. Like, I was uh, rolling joints off that shit. Okay. I'll be peeling like 15, 20 apples just to roll one joint. <laughs> you know? I'll be smoking and shit. Then, like, I'll be in my bunk and I'll be like, just realizing, like, damn, bro, like, you're in jail, bro. Like, I think I misunderstood before. I thought you were talking about smoking out of the apple. Nah, like, you just take the bottom out, you scrape it with a pancake. You feel me? You roll that shit up. And just, oh, okay. You know, spoo back. Wow, that's gangster. Um, where are you at with the Swifty Blue Saga? You guys on good terms or it's not happening? Nah, we're talking. You know, like, good luck to him. You know, like, I'm on a different shit right now. Mm -hmm. I listened to an interview clip of him talking about you and it, it felt like he was like showing you your respect and everything. Yeah, I asked too, too, though. You feel me? Like, mm. You know, like, yeah. Definitely. Um, so were you locked up when Suede died? Yeah. What was that like for you? That shit was crazy. Because, yo, I was in prison, too, and it's just like, I was chilling. And were you locked in with him from early on in his career, or how did you first start talking I to met, him? I met his, his, like, his right hand type shit, like, dog father polo. I met that from the section. Yeah. And you know, like I met that for a yard and shit. And we just always talk about like, yeah, we're gonna do music together and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when I got shipped out to a different prison, bro hit me up, you know, sway hit me up. He's like, damn you about to touch down I was like, yeah. When that happened, I was like, damn. Like, I didn't believe it, bro. I was just like, damn. Like, just that he went out like that? Just that he died, bro. Like, life is too short. Yeah. You know? You got to try to do it. You got to try to make this shit count. You know, like, this is my last chance. You feel me? I gotta make this one count. Mm. You feel me? Like that's why I ain't trying to fuck with the drugs heavy. You know, like I ain't trying to fucking die with that shit. You, know? you just want your ritual of like what you're doing in an average day to not be the kind of shit that could get you caught up. You know, you gotta just like find a way to be able to go about your life and be happy without having to take the risk of getting pulled over and they find whatever or getting you know whatever whatever scenarios nah, happen just anything bro even getting pulled over bro like just like fuck man even that shit could get me locked up bro right any little thing bro like could get me fucking put back in jail i'm tired of that shit you gotta like put yourself on house arrest yeah and just be just, like i'm gonna and when basically try to live house, like, like i do fool and then, like you got a lot of shit to do mm. you don't really want to go nowhere you know i got Fat ass TV, huh? When I first came home, I bought a fat ass TV, bro. Fuck, I bought a computer, I bought a hell of shit, bro. That was my first day out. Mm. I went crazy. You know, like, how many TVs my house got, bro? If people mm. want to hang out with you, they can come to you? Nah. What do you mean? 
Like my friends, like my friends, they could come to me. Type yeah, shit. yeah, they could for sure. Like Zay, welcome, Junior, welcome, Slash, welcome, you know, Solis, welcome. My, my team is welcome, you know. But like, if people are inviting you to parties and shit Mm-mm. like that, is that not really I'm not tempting? going no more? Like, I'm cool. Like I said, I'm right. cool. I have my fun. I got like I got, I got three kids, bro. Like, you feel me? Like they need me. Mm. You know, like fuck that. I got like five kids right now, bro. Cause I gotta take care of my, my little, my little kids too. You feel me? Like, like baby Vanessa. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like Lala. Like I gotta take care of my little girls. You know, I gotta take care of Yeah Yeah. Gotta take care of Nitty. Gotta take care of Coco. Like, you feel me? Like they need me. Like the homies don't need me. You know. Being a dad also like changed how you. View the world and what you should yeah, be doing with your like, time. Like I told you, like when I thought I was, she was never gonna leave and take the kids, bro, everything happened. Like, like damn, for every single fear that I had came to life. You know, like, fuck. So it's like now nah, I lost this, I lost this, I lost that. Now I know how to deal with an L. Could you ever be back with her again, or is that over? No, nah, it's done. Daughter with like, mm. oh, you know, like, like, like there was a point where like, yeah. Mm. You know, like, but I know my worth. You know, like the shit that I got now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, my girl now she appreciates everything I do for her. Mm-hmm. You know, even the little call that I, even those little calls from prison. You know, like they would make her day type shit. A letter. You know. My girl was the only one writing me answering my calls. That's that's part of the problem. Like we all kind of romanticize the idea of like being with the girl that knew you from before you were popping. Mm. But a lot of times, what happens, I feel like, is that that girl is so used to shit that, from your perspective, you're like, "Look at how nice where we're living at is. Look at how much money we got. Look how good our lifestyle is." But like she's been with you the whole time, so she don't really see it that way, right? I take this shit out when you're with me. When you're my high now, you feel me? Like, you have everything. I'm talking about if I got diamonds, you got diamonds. You feel me? If I got a fly whip, you're going to have a fly whip. You know, if I got this big ass house, you're going to live in it with me. Mm. Why? Because you appreciate me. You appreciate my worth at it. You know? You're happy that I'm home. You never said, oh, I wish you go back to jail. You're going to go back to jail. Nah, you said we're going to do this right this time. Mm. You know, when I got fucked up again and shit, she's like, nah, get your shit together. And I got my shit together. That's what the fuck I need, man. And my bitch can't, like, tell me, like, hey, you know what? Like, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know? That's not what you're looking for in a relationship. It's not even that. Sometimes I need the discipline, too, though, you feel me? Right. You got, a, like, an Android, huh? Nah, nah, nah. I got That's an iPhone. Hard. It's just, oh. this ain't my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Having an Android is like the most like renegade shit you can do. In prison, all you want is an Android. Because everybody's banging blue. And you just out here green as fuck. What do you mean? In the text. Nah, I'd rather do. I'd rather do green. <laughs> I'd rather do blue, I mean. I like iPhone. I'm team iPhone. <laughs> okay. You know? <laughs> me too. Oh, I mean, they rigged the fucking deck because it's so much like easier to like send images and everything is so much easier when both people have an iPhone that they make it really unfair on anybody. Yeah, who wants I just to don't want to turn my phone on right now. It's just like, it's like, bro, when I have my phone on, my shit is always ringing. Mm. Right now that it's off, I just been chilling. I just been like, like, bro, I haven't lived like this. You feel me? Like, I'm just like, if I want to be fucking lazy, if I'm just like, I'm my fucking bed if I want. Mm. I, don't, I can get my fucking dick sucked if I want. <laughs> right You got Man. money And you ain't gotta do shit That's pretty much The American dream right At all Only fucking Like thing I hate Is going downstairs For my fucking drink bro I'll be <laughs> like Fuck I forgot to bring a water <laughs> I don't even wanna drink The sink water no more <laughs> So it's like Fuck Right You know But so Okay you're You're You have music on deck Or are you gonna record New music And drop that shit. Okay I'm recording shit And are you just like are you 
a lone man at this point, or are there like, are you trying to like bring some other artists with you? Do you have nah, any like younger, team. just your team? Yeah, my but, team. And the, but your focus is on you. You're not mm-hmm. trying to like find artists to sign shit like that. Fuck, you just no, focused no, no, on no, being no. great. I already got my artists. I already got all my artists right now. You okay. The same ones that you seen before. The same ones I got right now. Right. You know, Kai B. Uh, shout out my little brother. You feel me? My little spade niggas like. That's what I got with me. Mm. You got y'all need to listen to him too though. Like Lil KB, this motherfucker hard. Yeah. You feel me? Lil nigga got the bars. You got everything. You feel me? Walk ups and chase downs. We do them all, nigga. Like, come on, like, bro. That's a little nigga talking like that, <laughs> brother. Big homie, big little nigga, but I stepped along your big homie. <sighs> like, come on, this nigga got cold with it. You feel me? That's the formula. They love to hear. Wait, that nigga young ass dude saying crazy he say, shit. Say. <laughs> And you know, straight off the rip, it was me, him, and bro. You can't hop in this whip if you ain't got no blick. I was like, oh, <laughs> little nigga, hard. And he's saucy too, bro. Yeah. Like, I learned how to dress because of him. You feel me? Like, bro, I'm a big nigga. I'm fucking on big again. Man. That's what I'm happy about. You, you, know? you like being a little bigger? Yeah. Okay. You feel me? Because it's like, I still work out with shit. Don't get me wrong. Uh-huh. Like, I fuck up a nigga with a Navy SEALs and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, I would like to eat, bro. Mm. I like just laying in bed. It's like, fuck, you know, like. I never met somebody so excited about relaxing. Yeah. But that's just kind of where you're at. I like I like how, how real you're being about it. Yeah, it's like, bro, I'm in, I'm in Saatchi slippers, nigga. Mm. You know, Uncle Arrow, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm just chilling. Oh, that's like, okay, like that. Next time you come back, you should bring all your artists so we could have a little panel. Whenever you want. With all the Whenever young you hitters. Whenever you want. Let's do that. You feel me? All my little niggas steppers too. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Free Doughboy. Free my free my nephews, Doughboy and Slick. You feel me? For my little brother Demon. Mm. You know what I mean? Free my team. You feel Definitely. Me? So you're about to go crazy. You're about to start dropping Fuck, and, and take the streets over again. Yeah, but like 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 when I'm ready though, you know. Like right. When I'm ready. You're on your own. Yeah. On time. When I'm on my own time. Like there's times where I just like like wish I could just go to the studio and just kick it, you know. But that's the only problem. When I'm at the studio, honey, I can't chill. When I'm in the studio, I'm always that's that. When I'm in the studio, I'm like, let's go. I say I'm a chill, you know. I say I'm a chill. I just go in and shit. There's a few times I took my girl and shit. I'm just chilling. I'm try to try to watch a movie and shit. But then I just notice I got the attention span of a squirrel. I'll be like, Fuck. I walk out right away. You yeah. Know? It's tough to watch yeah, a movie yeah. when your attention span is built on like, TikTok we, exactly, and Twitter like, and like, shit. Like, 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 even in there, I wasn't watching TV, so when I, like, I would come out and like, like yeah. now I'm just like, I'm forced to watch TV. You feel me? Like, fuck it. Bro, it's a big decision to sit there and watch one thing for three hours. There's, there's some good shit, though. When I could there's look some. at thousands of TikToks in those three hours, but it's like a real commitment. See, I don't even have that. You don't even got the TikTok. Nah. You probably lit on there, if I had to guess. They say, because even the, even the Gorgian there, they were like, hey, I seen you on TikTok. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. The and fans he, do it for and, you. And then this time he was like, some, some bitch ass hood out right there. He's like, hey, you look like the guy that ate Chito Runners. I was like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass nigga. That's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any uh, like black artists that you want to work with? Or is that not something you necessarily think about? Yeah, like, like, like Lebo. We were supposed to work. Huh? We were supposed to work the day that I got locked up. Lebo, EBK Lebo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah I'm over war. You fuck with all that shit. stock and shit. Like yeah, some of it yeah, like 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 some of it shit is hard. Nice. You know? It's like the EBK niggas and shit. You know, like they hard. Mm. You know, like who else is hard? You know? I was just telling you for like, like I'm mad that I don't even know a lot of rappers like that. Really? Yeah, like I, I like there ain't no music to listen in there and shit. You know, like. They be listening to that radio shit. Mm. All that Drake, you know that. You know, like, damn. You hard, though, too. You know but You don't get to see what's going on on, like, nah, the street level. I don't yeah. know what's going on. You feel me? But, like, I really, I wanted to work with uh with, with Lebo and shit. Mm. You feel me? Hopefully someday, you know, when the time is right. Mm. You feel me? Who else? Hmm. Oh, you know, who, who, who popping right now, anyway? No. Mm-hmm. Your team said you're on your own on this one. Yeah. <laughs> They're I'm looking like, at I'm you like. Man. It's because, like, I don't know you. a lot of fools and shit. You don't like to collab. It's not really a thing. Killer Woods. But he's from SAC, though. That's my boy, though. I was in prison with him. Uh-huh. So y'all won't collab with him. 
real good. You know, like the banked up artists, like they, like they my boys, like them stars, like they my niggas. You for know, sure. Like, I would collab with them. You know. Definitely. For sure, see a male Prince Drake. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you actually uh, been around lavish? Bro, I haven't even been around like a, like my mama. <laughs> right. He's a cool dude. <laughs> like I was. Nigga, I wasn't even around like that. You feel me? Like, Bro, people always hype it up on TikTok and shit. I got to see this all the time that when I interviewed Lavish, I called him like CLM Lavish D. I fucking said it wrong. He, he, didn't, uh, he didn't say what? anything. It's like the first thing I say in the interview and he doesn't even say anything. But like, uh, I you see it as well. Beat your ass in his head like, man. <sighs> There's been a few things like that over the years where I, you watch it and you're just cringing out of your skin hey, like you fucking retard. I be seeing retard. some shit about you too, and I be like, why you say that? You know, uh, like, 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 you seem like a cool guy. I know? wish I knew. Like, I wish I could have. I would have just restarted. Instead, I'm over here. It's like I'm dissing him or some like, shit. Wait, wait. I don't know what CL is. Hey, my bad, Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, all right. So the people out there, stay tuned in. Go subscribe to my man's channel. New music on the way soon. But he's mostly just going to be relaxing, Chill, oh, okay. chilling in the oh. crib, taking surprise five hour naps. Probably eight. You know eight. I mean? That's not a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your sleep for the night. Brother, I haven't even slept since last night. I was just eating Chinese food and just. Fucking watching these motherfuckers play fucking FIFA and shit. You don't play? You just watch? Bro, I can't stand soccer. Oh, really? You know, like, I like football. I like, fuck, bro. Like, 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 like. I've been trying to play Call of Duty, but that bitch-ass game been pissing me off lately, bro. We can't <laughs> play two-player, nigga. Like, I can't smoke my homie real quick. You know what I'm saying? You can't play two-player? Nah. So I'm like, man, fuck this game. Mm. Bro, huh? I'll be like, I'll be like for like two minutes. I'll shoot, I'll shoot like, like. Like two dudes and walk away real quick. <laughs> right. And I'm gone for hours. Like, but I'm in the house. I'm just gone for hours. <laughs> you know, like no one <laughs> I'm just chilling. Right. And then I'll be walking back downstairs and I'm like, oh well, why they change the game and shit? You know, like <laughs> how many blunts get smoked in a day? <laughs> oh shit. Sheesh. It's my blunt roller too. You have a full time blunt roller. My lob ass fuck. I'm with dead homies. That means down as fuck? No, it means word. Oh, uh, word. Word to my mother. Okay. I'm still learning. Yeah? Where were you born? New Hampshire. New Hampshire? That damn, that's fucking far from here, too. I'm still trying to get tapped in with the Raza. Yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> that's all I said. <laughs> the, the Raza? On the East Coast? Yeah. I grew up around all Puerto Rico. How, how, how you say my name? You probably say Chito Ranas, huh? Chito Ranas. Yeah, hella white. I shouldn't. No, I should say. I should say Cheeto Ranis. It's just even whiter. Yeah, I know. But like, I gotta be. That's not like what my neighbor's gonna say, be, huh? You know? I was thinking I... about getting an Edgar. What do you think? Maybe I should could skip the Edgar and go to whatever the fuck you're doing with the. the nah, this, this, this is gang related. This is gang related. Is it really? Yeah, you probably get shot at. Oh shit! I'm not going to sack. Nigga, I'm not going to sack. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know what that reminds me of is like the dudes in Houston. They have a thing called the shag. Like black dudes will have like, it's like a oh that shit fly too boat back here. But then all the EBK dudes be doing it and shit too. Yeah, yeah. Stockton adopted it. Me, I don't know the only why. reason I have is because like my homie Sparky, rest in peace, he had it. You know, yeah. so all my little homies too, all my little young ones got it. You feel me, mm. Husky? You feel me, Demon? My little brother Demon got it too. I got this for him too. Plus, this is like what going on five years. Were you ever a tagger? Nah, hell no. That's why it be surprising me, bro. A lot of homies be taggers before shit. You know what so I mean? many like, people, when you watch like gangster like, interviews, hey, they the start out as a tagger. Two times only. Uh, no, 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 like, yeah, two times, right? I spray painted some shit. Mm. I, I was drunk as fuck one time with Jalisco. You feel me? With my brother, rest in peace. Mm. I was drunk as fuck. We in the hood and shit with the homie Listo. Well, you hop out the whip, we're at a, we're at a fucking, uh, 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 okay. You know that, that Jack in the Box that's across the street from Carl's Jr.? Right there, right on Arden? So, we literally hop out the whip. Brother has a has fucking spray can. Mm. Put Jalisco, hella big on the wall. <laughs> I just put a frog, like, <laughs> HPS, and I leave. <laughs> you know, like. Sunlight. Yeah. It's not for you, though. Second time I did it, <laughs> when I came home, some fucking gold spray paint. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my garage tagging the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm over in the backyard tagging the shit. And then, yeah. 
I got in trouble for that shit. Oh, too. you got in trouble for yeah. it. So that, that stopped you. Yeah. Bro, why'd you decide to go full mustache tat on him? That shit is like the hardest location, I feel like. Just go for the mustache, man. It's because niggas got to stop asking me where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? You want to figure you answer it for him? Yeah, like, you feel me? Like, I was in there and I am up like, where you from? Shit. Like, you got that done in there? Yeah, I was big. Oh, shit. That shit hurt. That shit's hard. But I love it. Plus, I couldn't grow a mustache either like that, so I had to like, you know? So now would you feel kind of guilty if you got a mustache, like you're covering it up on purpose? I know, I still can't grow one. Oh, you, so oh, you shit, can't grow it? Okay. Well, this shit, this shit here, this shit here for life. Shit, you know, man. My mama hasn't though. seen me like that. What about when you're like 50? You might be able to grow a mustache. They said Osama, like, he did it. He was like, he, he, okay, look, so I read a lot of books on that motherfucker. You feel me? Really? What? Well, it's, it's like my dad. Don't get any ideas. Hold on, no. Don't hijack he any planes. I don't do that. I don't even like, I don't <laughs> fly planes. I don't, I don't, never fly in planes. You don't like that? drive. Fuck no. What if you get booked tomorrow in New York City? You're not hopping on that plane? I'm not hopping in shit. Really? What? I'm driving. I got a Hellcat. I got a Hellcat. I got me fucked up. <laughs> so it's like, we putting miles on that it's bitch. like a week straight. Sad. What? <laughs> Fuck it. Good times. Baby gonna be mad. Yeah. What? I'm, well, I'm on the freeway with it. But in terms of not getting pulled over, well, I'm being flying with is it. a way better idea. Okay, but it's a red eye. Shit faster than a cop car. Yeah. Nah. nah. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> uh, They've been doing this. Nah, I'm, I'm on my ankle. <laughs> I can't do shit. <laughs> nah, I just tell them, like, look, this is my location. I'm gonna be there right there. You know? Right. And I'm driving safely, like fucking driving. Ant you feel me? Yeah. The Hellcat's probably not the best car, though. You should rent like an Acura. Fuck that, man. I'm flying in the Hellcat. <laughs> what? Like, ain't nobody got this like that, you know? Right. And my shit was copped out the showroom type of shit. Oh, work. Yeah. <laughs> Chita Ranas. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go. Fly hey, guy. I appreciate you, man. I, and I'm excited for the new music to come out. Mm hmm. Let's go. Yeah. Sacramento's very own. I mean, Making the city proud. Man. Long live Holly. Let's go. Cheeto Ronis, No Jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support. Go turn my man up on all streaming services and social media platforms. Let's go.